Hey friends, Damian Mason. Thank you so much for being here on the Do Business Better podcast. I switched the backdrop uh, to show you my bookcase with all the people that are on the media in the talking heads and the Skype interviews going on. Everybody now has to do their interview in front of a bookcase. I didn't want you to think that I don't have a bookcase. So of course I have a bookcase. It's got my books on it as well as other people's books. And it's even got some cool old stuff from my background over there. Picture of uh, of my wife and I the day we met. uh, A name badge that one of my clients gave me. And it's even got a picture of my dad up there riding his bicycle, hence the uh, inspiration for Boy on a Bike Publishing. Uh, that's the company that's published a few of my books, and uh, I would love you to pick that up. But more importantly, let's talk about you. Why are we here today? First off, if you're hearing this and you're saying, wait a minute, why is he talking about describing his backdrop with like pictures of the steers and, and the meat cuts and the globe? It's because this is not only an audio podcast anymore, it's a video podcast, right? We started doing this back in January where we said, why are we not just putting this on YouTube also? So if you're a listener but never been a viewer, please go on the Damian Mason YouTube channel, hit subscribe. It'll help me a lot with my visibility. The playlist for this is the Do Business Better podcast. I also have my Business of Agriculture podcast on there as well. We're going to talk today about sales. Remember, I promised you a while back that we're going to keep doing uh, some different um, episodes about sales. And this uh, episode is about something pretty simple. And it's a simple little short podcast because the theme is simple. Okay. You know that you get sometimes wigged out over selling. We all do. Like, I'm like, oh my God, Lori, don't worry about it. We have to sell our services. We have to sell our beef. We have to sell ourselves. We have to sell what we do as, as business people. Without sales, there is no revenue. Without revenue, there is no business, right? So you got to sell. And sometimes we get wigged out about it. So I've been doing these episodes where I told you what sales is, told you about the, you know, the, the, uh, Cutco knife stories about sales. And I told you about how you don't confuse your customers because a confused customer, the confused mind cannot focus. The confused customer will not buy. Well, today we're going to talk about something very simple and it's about simplicity. You have been told, don't sell the steak, sell the sizzle right? It's the old thing that we all got told by somebody that thought they knew business or some old peddler. And there is some truth to that. But what they're really saying is they always talk about the benefit. That's what you're supposed to see. But sometimes sizzle is showmanship, right? Sometimes the sizzle is the whole, uh, we're, we're flashy. We've got this thing, you know, the sizzle of a Corvette is that it's fast and that when you push the accelerator, it makes a throaty noise like, oh God, that thing, that's, that's testosterone. That's the American road. That's me getting out there and showing that I can drive fast. Okay. That's sizzle. Is it really benefit? No, it's more sizzle. It's more showmanship. So sizzle means benefit or sizzle means showmanship. And I'm going to tell you that it's not necessarily about the sizzle sometimes, nor is it about the steak. You've been told don't sell the steak, sell the sizzle. I'm going to tell you sometimes sell the simplicity. Sell the simplicity. Now, this is different for every scenario, and that's where you have to be a seasoned uh, business person, and you have to listen because your customers will generally tell you what matters to them. Some customers want a certain amount of sizzle. They want a certain amount of showmanship, but what they sometimes want more than anything, and I find myself this way now too, is simplicity. I don't have one because I don't shop at Staples here in Indiana because uh, I, I, I don't know where the heck I go. But anyway, I, I don't have a, an easy button. Do you remember about 10 years ago, that was their ad campaign? You know, you would push, that was easy, little red button that had white letters that said easy. The idea was you got a business to run, you need to fix something, Staples is your answer, they make it easy on you. That was easy. Brilliant campaign, frankly, and I'll tell you why. Who are the customers for Staples? They tend to be people like me, sole proprietors, small business people, small business owners, shops of 25, 30, whatever. You're not usually, and then home office people, people that have a part-time gig. You're not talking about uh, necessarily, uh, let's say, the world headquarters of IBM doesn't probably shop at Staples, right? So... What do small biz people, sole proprietor people, folks working out of their home office, what do those people need when they shop at Staples? They need paper clips, they need printer cartridges, they need binders, they need what they need, and they need it fast, easily, simply because they got other stuff to do. 
Remember, you're a small business. You wear, what do they say, cook, cook, uh, chief, and bottle washer. You do it all. You wear a lot of hats. That was easy, and the easy button was a neat campaign because what they sold was simplicity. Didn't say our paper clips are cheaper than uh, Office Depot. Didn't say uh, that we are going to uh, have... Uh, 30% uh, more printer cartridges, and it'll be cheaper than Office Depot. And by the way, Office Depot, Office Max, Staples, I can't remember. I think two of them merged, and I don't remember which, but I, I know that that happened. Either way, there is competition for Staples for the person that's like you or me, that's a small biz person that needs office supplies, needs the things that make their business go. So what did they say? They didn't say we're cheaper. They didn't say we have, uh, you know better quality of scotch tape. They just said that was easy. Hmm. So what am I telling you about this? Because we serve clients. I serve customers. You serve customers. I have a business where I need people to give me money for the services that I provide to them. What do my services need to do? Well, let's say it's speaking at a conference. I need to have that audience go away learning something, thinking about business, being enlightened, being informed, being entertained, having some insights on new different things. I talk about agriculture and food, so I need those people to think about the food industry a little differently than we did 50 years ago ago. So I provide all those things. Books and TV interviews and personality and comedic delivery. That's all good. That's sizzle. That's steak and sizzle. But you know what? All of us need to provide a certain amount of simplicity. When I tell a meeting planner, I have been doing this for 26 years, my dear meeting planner, and you have 341 people showing up at your meeting in Kansas City. Guess what? I've been here before. I've been there and I've done that. And I know what matters to you is you don't want to worry about me. You want to make sure that you've got enough to go on. You've got to make sure the food is being delivered. You've got Larry and Cindy and Bob that every year at every convention bitch at you because they don't have the right number of ice cubes out or the dessert wasn't gluten-free. Everyone I work for has enough other things that they've got to fool with in running their business. Let's say it's a virtual conference. You're going to have to fool with 21 people that can't figure out how to work a Zoom call. But you know what you don't have to worry about? You don't have to worry about me. I know how to do Zoom calls. I know how to get to the Kansas City Marriott. I don't care if it's gluten-free brownies or not because I'm not even going to eat any of them. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make your job easy. I'm going to make your job simple. You book me. You work with me. I deliver the goods. I deliver the steak and the sizzle. But most importantly, I deliver the simplicity. All I need you to do is pay me, and I'll take one big headache off of your plate. Now you understand what we're talking about. In the book, Do Business Better, which of course is over my shoulder, and I encourage you every time we get together on these episodes to at least pick it up. If you, if you already do own one, you know what? Buy one for a friend. It's a good book. But you know, I've marked the chapter on sales. And in my chapter on sales, I failed to talk about the need to make things simple. But it's extremely important. And everybody says, well, folks are so busy. It becomes almost pandering. People are so busy right now, they just don't have time. Are you kidding? It's coronavirus lockdown for half of the country right now. They're sitting at home. They're putting on 15 pounds, according to one article I read, because they're going to the refrigerator eating all the time. The Corona 15, they're calling it. Watching more TV, uh, spending more time at home. I'm not saying they're not working. I'm just saying let's not keep going down this whole deal about how busy they are. It's not about that. Oh, they don't have time. It's not about that. We all have the same number of time. What does I say in my book? 525,000 minutes per week? You got the same amount of time. Let's not worry about minutes per year. Hell, I can't remember. I put it in here. Pick it up. Main thing is let's not pander about folks are too busy and they don't have time. The reality is you make it simple. You make it easy for your customers and they don't have to do the work, and you've just alleviated a headache for them. Let's not worry about whether it's time. If that's what they want to hear, fine. Hey, you're busy, fine. Hey, you got time. You got you're you're pressed on time, fine. But the reality is, right now, many people are not. They're they're sitting at home, and working from home is usually not for many people as long of a week as if they had to get in their car, drive, and do their job, etc. So let's not make it about time. Let's just talk about simplicity. Whatever you do, whatever you provide, the steak is the substance. The sizzle is the showmanship and the flash and the throaty growl of the Corvette engine, or the comedic showmanship that Damien offers, or whatever it is, that creative flair that you bring, that signature 
that signature sizzle that you are known for or that you need to become known for. So you're selling those things. I understand. But when you got told a long time ago when you started out in your business, don't sell the steak, sell the sizzle, I'm telling you, get those two things figured out and then sell the simplicity. I wrote down a few notes uh, in my outline as I was preparing for this. First off, people pay for convenience. We know that. Convenience stores, right? You don't go to the convenience store and buy your month's worth of groceries because it's more expensive. But why do you buy any groceries there at all? Because it is convenient. The convenience store made the customer's life simpler, easier. You're on your way home. The phone rings. It's your husband. Says, hey, I've got the kids. Everything's fine, but we don't have any beer. Can you grab a six-pack at the convenience store? Oh, now it's convenient. Yeah, it's going to cost more than if I had picked it up when I was at Wiggly Piggly. Doesn't matter. Made your life simple. People pay for convenience. You ever buy online tickets to an event back when we used to be allowed to have such things as concerts and events? <clears throat> What did they put on there at Ticketmaster? They called it a convenience charge. It really wasn't very convenient, but they convinced you it was, and you paid for it. People pay for convenience. Does your business, does your offering, does your product make your lives, I'm sorry, the lives of your customers and clients simpler? Convenience. Another jot down here that I've got in my notes to, to talk about this for you. Who are your customers? I know it varies. Who are your clients? And here's how you can be better at selling the simplicity. Call them up. Go visit them if you're allowed to. Take them to lunch, whatever. The next time you are working, serving your customer base, say, hey, I'm just kind of doing a little, a little survey. I've got a piece of paper here and I'm writing down. What's the three biggest things that make your life difficult at your work and business? Now, after you ask a dozen of your clients those questions, what are you going to find? You're probably going to find that there's some overlap, and then you can set about trying to alleviate that. Well, we got too much of a regulatory burden. For me to do business with you, I've got to hop through this hoop and fill out these forms and blah, 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 blah. And after you hear that six times, maybe your new ability to sell the simplicity is you say, hey, a lot of my customers always were struggling with this, so I just complete the forms for them and I handle the regulation on their behalf. Oh, now I'm using a pretty generic 30,000 foot example right there, but you get the picture. Ask the customer client base, hey, what's your frustration? What's the complication? What, what is it that makes this whole thing difficult? Because I'd like to alleviate that and make your life easier. Huh, if you can do that, haven't we all had a customer that says, hey, if you can do this, fill in the blank, you're hired. It's about making their life simple. Amazon makes life simple. They take a huge percent, make a huge percent off of the seller, but the buyer gets more convenience. I just laid around in my sweatpants and my pajamas and I ordered everything I used to have to get, go to the store and buy. Amazon makes their life simple. Arizona, Amazon gave them an easy button. Your belly's hanging out of your pajamas, you haven't showered, but you know what? You just went online and bought a whole bunch of stuff. Push the easy button. If you don't think that the simplicity and ease factor is a motivating factor, you are dead wrong. And I'll tell you why. Your customers, my customers, frankly, all of us, because we're all other people's customers, we are willing to sacrifice our liberties and our privacy if some companies make it easier on us. You got a cell phone right now? Are you watching or listening to me on your smartphone? Your smartphone is tracking your movement. I'm not being a wacko. We know this to be true. They are monitoring your movement. They are also gathering data on you. Is it any coincidence that you and your spouse are talking about the need to buy Junior a new bicycle and after you do this for a couple of days, you start getting bicycle ads popping up? But because it's convenient, because it gave you a map and a, and a podcast and a phone and an email and all your social media and 140 other applications on that phone, you know what you did? You said, screw it. I'm willing to give up some of my liberty, some of my, some of my freedom, some of my privacy. I'm willing to let these companies keep their eye on me because I got convenience. I got service and I got simplicity. 
I got now, I can do a whole bunch of stuff. I don't have to carry a map. I don't have to carry a tape recorder. I don't have to carry a, a boom box on my shoulder to listen to music. I've got all that right here. You were willing to give up a certain amount for that convenience. Sell the steak, sell the sizzle, and sell the simplicity. You've been told, don't sell the steak, sell the sizzle. The steak is your content. The steak is your product. The steak is the fundamentals. The steak is that you are competent, that your plumbing company has every one of your plumbers has been through all the apprenticeships and is competent and blah, 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 and has never had a customer complaint or has a 97 rating on the, on the uh, Better Business Bureau stats, whatever. That's where steak meets sizzle and becomes showmanship. Sizzle becomes... The showmanship, the fluff, the throaty growl of the engine, the effect, the creative signature that you are known for. And then sell the simplicity that you will handle these things that they don't want to handle and you'll make their life easier. Because at the end of the day, we're all just like, remember those old deer, you know, if you learned how to deer hunt, what do they tell you? Those deer are wanting to go from that woods to that field right over there. Shortest point is a straight line. Put your deer stand there because all of us are trying to cut out steps and make it simpler and make it easier to get from point A to point B. The shortest point is the shortest distance is a straight line. You know that. So provide the straight line, make things easier, sell the steak, sell the sizzle, and most importantly, give your customers an easy button. I'm Damian Mason. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Do Business Better podcast. Till next time, happy selling and be prosperous. Thank you. Thank you.